Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would review the SPY. And I'm teaching the Trends class this week. It's a class that I only teach a few times a year. Actually, I, it might be the only time this year I've done it. But it really reviews long-term trends in stock charts. If you want to swing trade or do options trades or long-term investing, it's a very important class. It actually helps you become a much more proficient day trader if you can read a long-term trend. But specifically, I wanted to review the SPY because I had the Golden Gap class this weekend and we were talking about this and I realized something that I actually had never realized before this weekend. But my eye did. My eye must have realized it because I could continue to call the market higher. But not until I sat, sat, sat and looked did I realize what I saw. So first of all, let's look at the overall SPY chart. What would you say? Well, the SPY is bullish. That's exactly what you would say. The market is up. And I just want to look at this five because it's so strong. Now, we've been up since the election. What about prior to the election? In fact, let me go back here as long as I can go back. So, here, I just made this bigger. We had a dip down, 2002, I wasn't trading then yet, rallied up here. This is around a 152-ish level. High in here was 156 something. This was all the banking crisis, 2007, 2008, 2009, we fell, fell off a planet. Market was bearish then, actually. Then the market started to recover, 2010, 2011, okay, I'm looking at long term here in the SPY, 2012, rally, 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 2013, we made it over this area, then when? It looks like it was pretty much, uh, Spring 2013, all right? So this level here again is what? Around 156-ish. Remember, support and resistance are areas. So you see right here, this is the SPY. Look at the move that we made since then. So that was spring of 2013. We're in December 2017. One, two, three, four, five. Say we go into May 2018, where do you think we'll be from there? I mean, right now, this second, we're 100 points from that number, took us almost five years. A couple months, less than five months sh shy of five years that it's taken us to run up 100 points. Do you see that move? That is an incredible move, people. So the market is extremely, extremely bullish. Now, many people think that the market cannot continue, that we're topping. And if you look at this, I mean, I can, I can see what people are seeing when they're saying the market's extended. I get what people are saying. I don't believe that because I use gaps to determine the trend in something. I have a process for it, which is what I teach in the Golden Gap class and the Trends class. I see how people can say it's extended because we've gone really almost vertical straight up. From this area here, it's 2016, again, October, November, through now, one, it's more than a year, a little bit more than a year. I can see what people are saying. They're saying, gosh, we're going to pull back. We're going to have a deep, deep pullback, a 10% correction, 5% correction possibly. But what I'm saying is that number one, we're going to continue bullishly up. Number two, even if we pulled back quite significantly, which I'm not saying is going to happen at all, but I'm saying even if it does, we are still extremely strong. And we're headed to new highs yet again this week with tax reform out there, out there between now and the end of the year, which Trump wanted to pass it before Christmas, and it very well may happen. So it's important when you're looking at something, and I don't care if you're doing a day trade or an overnight, but it is imperative if you're doing an overnight to get it right, because you don't want to get trapped in something against the trend. But day trading, it helps your day trading, it helps your day trading bias for the conviction for what you're doing, all right, for the aggressiveness in it or to hold something. But for overnights, you got to be able to read what's going on in the trend. And many people have a hard time figuring out, number one, the trend in something, and number two, a change in trend, which has not happened yet here in the market. So we'll see what happens going into the end of 2017. I'm very excited. I'm sure that I will be discussing this on television uh, in the next coming two weeks. So we'll see where we go from here. But I will tell you right now, 270 is very, very possible before the end of 2017. It's really not that far away. The previous high here, this was a couple days ago, almost got to 268. I mean, that's almost nothing for this market to move. And again, tax reform might pass in the next two weeks.
Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the trends class, it's coming up in a few days, Tuesday, December 19th. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The next class is not until January 2018. However, you can sign up and register beforehand if you want to secure your spot. Thanks, everybody, and have a great week.